All right, we are in Falston, North Carolina. And the reason I'm here, other than listening to the Ramones in a parking lot, <laughs> I missed my turn. So, uh, yeah, the reason I'm here uh, today is uh, we're here to uh, pay a visit to uh, Mr. Robert Elmore that uh, left us, passed away in 1998. <clears throat> he was kind of a celebrity here in my hometown of uh, Shelby, North Carolina. He did a movie called uh, Uncle Goddamn, which was made by a good friend of mine named Dale Elmore. And uh, so, yeah, we're here uh, in his town that he's buried, uh, which is called Falston, North Carolina. And uh, we're making the turn right here, and we're almost at the graveyard. And uh, if you ever want to visit the uh, Uncle Goddamn's grave, he's buried at Rose Hill Cemetery here in Falston, North Carolina. And uh, we're almost there. Uh, so I'll tell you a little bit about the film. Uh, the film started, it basically is my friend Dell uh, was just filming his uh, just family, pa basically playing pranks on each other. It was uh, the film when it was released kind of got held as like uh, it didn't get discovered until after Jackass, but it, uh, it was actually before the Jackass uh, films and stuff. So yeah, it predates that. You know, there's pretty hardcore stuff in it, but it, it's all in good fun. It's uh, just a family playing pranks on each other, and uh, and uh, Robert, he's just uh, always <laughs> feeling no pain as usual. We'd have him a drink here and there, and get to feeling good, and you know everybody be joking and listening to music and uh, playing pranks on each other. So that's basically, uh, in a nutshell, what. Uh, the uh, Uncle uh, Goddamn film was about, but uh, they had some pretty hardcore uh, stunts on there, uh, you know, messing with each other and everything. It's definitely worth the to, uh, shot to check it out, but yeah, it got so famous. Robert was uh, like a small-time, really, celebrity around here, and uh, here's the graveyard we're coming up on. It's called Rose, Rose Hill, and uh, we're turning in, but um, yeah, as I was saying, uh, I mean, he got treated like royalty around here. It was so cool. Like, we'd go to concerts. He'd go to concerts with me and Dale. And, uh, I mean, people would just really, especially the Frankenstein drag queens, they even uh, put his picture on one of their CDs. It's a cartoon. Uh, they made a cartoon out of his picture. And uh, it's called, I think, Uncle Goddamn Records. It was on one of their uh, albums. Um, the Frankenstein drag queens from Charlotte. Uh, Anti-scene. That's really what kind of helped uh, blow, uh, to, I guess, to make his legend even bigger and to blow up the legend of uh, of Uncle Goddamn was just uh, anti-scene. I mean, because uh, they're kind of local heroes to us, too. Punk band from Charlotte, North Carolina, and they, uh, they would take the tape everywhere and trade with people, and Jeff would uh, tell people about it. Jeff Clayton, their singer. And uh, we'll turn the Ramones off now, and we'll start making our way out to the grave. But yeah, Jeff Clayton, he would basically, um, you know, tell people about it and and a lot of people like Anna Seen and so they'd, you know, check out what he would recommend and and it just kind of grew from there cuz Anna Seen, you know, they toured everywhere. They've toured other countries, uh, everything. So, yeah, that was a lot of good free publicity for Dale and his film. We'll go ahead and head out to the grave. Uh it's on the first row here, so it's pretty easy to find. But um yeah, it's just uh it's amazing how the the movie took off and it was on uh i believe netflix for a while and uh i know uh, amazon you can uh buy it off of amazon and there's clips on youtube of course and uh really entertaining movie if you're a fan of the jackass movies you will definitely love uh local goddamn movie it's really good and uh really entertaining and right here is his grave this is uh, Robert Lee Elmore's uh, grave, as you can see. He was born March 22nd, 1950, and sadly he left us on November 15th of 1998. And uh, what I remember about him most is just being the, you know, most kindest dude, super nice, always, you know, joking, and uh, just always, you know, looking for a good time, having fun, you know, and he lived his life his way, that's for sure, and uh, I think that's how everybody should live, you know, I think that makes for a, a happier life, but um, it's uh, it's sad, in the same year that he passed away, 1998, a, a good memory from that year was uh, me and uh, his uh, nephew Dale and Robert, we all went to a, uh, a concert uh, in uh, Charlotte at Repo Records, and uh, Jackal, the rock band Jackal, um, you know, fame, their famous song is Lumberjack Song, When Will It Rain. 
uh, pretty big band, pretty big at that time especially. And uh, they were trying to break the Guinness Book World Records, playing the most shows in the most days. And they were playing a show at Repo, so me and Dale went, took Uncle GD with us. And uh, it's just a really great time. <laughs> we, we watched the show, it was really cool. And afterwards they were doing a meet and greet at uh, Repo Records. So, uh, I mean, he totally got the royal treatment. I mean, it was like total pimp, like rock star treatment. He, <laughs> he got brought to the front of the line, Uncle GD did. And uh, as soon as Jackal saw him, they're like, ah, damn. I mean, they're just like, man, they treated him like he was the rock star instead of vice versa, you know. And Jackal, they were just like totally smitten by Uncle GD. It was like the coolest thing I'd ever seen. And uh, and Uncle GD just treated him like, you know, like they were just one of the boys, you know. It was really cool. And uh, and they had, a, uh, had some laughs with him. Uh, gave him a shot of something. Uh, Uncle GD, he just mainly drank beer. He didn't drink like alcohol, but they gave him some kind of... Uh, alcoholic beverage a shot of something and i mean it knocked him into the middle of next week i mean i'm talking he was like sitting in his uh he had to sit down in a chair after a while and his false teeth were sliding out of his mouth everything uh it was uh it was pretty pretty fun time but uh yeah he was just a good guy like i said he loved having a good time and uh, that was a great memory with jackal that day and uh how they treated him uh, they treated him like royalty and they took pictures with him and we got it all on video and stuff hopefully uh we can i'll talk to dale and hopefully we can get that uh posted the uh, the footage of him and uh, jackal together because that was a good time and that deserves to be online for the other fans uh to uh, be a part of that and to share in that experience and everything so because he has a lot of fans i mean like uh the coolest thing that I remember was being in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. I had moved up there, and uh, I was at a concert at Exit Inn. It's a famous club there, and I was standing in line like normal, you know, waiting for the doors to open. And I heard these two gentlemen in front of me talking about the uh, the Uncle Goddamn movie, and I was just like, it caught my I, it caught my attention because one of my good friends was the one that directed that. So that really, I was kind of eavesdropping on their conversation and they were like, yeah, you got to see it. It's so crazy. It's a really good movie. It's like everybody's just, you know, got to see it. So I, I got a kick out of hearing these guys talk about that film. And uh, my friend had uh, had made that film and it was cool to, you know, hear them talking about something that excited them so much. And I was kind of a part of it, like, you know, just uh, knowing the people that was in it, uh, especially Uncle GD, Dale uh uncle gd's brother pappy and then of course rocky which they're all three uh sadly are gone now and stuff maybe i'll visit uh their graves also but uh yeah i just wanted to share uh some stories with you about uh uncle gd and uh just tell you what a really cool guy he was really nice man always had a smile on his face always joking always looking for a good time you know so and uh just a great person and if you ever want to visit his grave it's really easy to find like I said, it's in Rose Hill Cemetery, Foster, North Carolina. And when you turn off of uh, the main road, he's towards the back of the uh, cemetery. And uh, But, I mean, he's right on the road, front of the road, as you can see. Once you turn in, there's a side road that goes down beside the cemetery. And once you turn in on that side road, you go as far back as you can to the last road in the graveyard. Once you pull in take that left into the last graveyard he's one two three four five six seven eight he's nine graves in and uh as you can see there's the road right there so it's very easy to find nine graves in right on the road the last road on this of when you turn into the cemetery it's the very last road you turn take that left and uh like i said he's nine rows in right there on the road road front so yeah, I definitely recommend if you're a fan of the film or uh, or anything, uh, check it out. On uh, You can get it by it on uh, Amazon. Uh, they have clips of it. I don't know if they ever posted the whole thing. I knew at one time they had clips on YouTube. Or you can read articles about it. There's all kind of articles about the Uncle GD movie. It was a pretty big deal around here, especially we don't have a lot of movies coming out of uh, Shelby, North Carolina, or either like cult <laughs> movie stars. So, yeah, it's cool to... Uh, to see that uh he made he left his mark on this earth so that's that's a pretty cool thing so all right robert we're gonna we're gonna leave uh leave robert now and uh we're gonna head on back to the house and just wanted to show our love and and just uh all the good memories share all the good memories with you guys so thank you for watching